Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, listen, it's always difficult to identify the player that you want to put on the thumbnails of the pre-games videos. When it's post-game it's easy, you go with the one that scored, you go with the one that was decisive, if it didn't go well you, went to, you go with the one that is to blame, but in pre-games you need to go with feelings here inside of you and a lot of time how I do it is I wake up, I open my eyes and the first player that I have in front of me that's the player. I have a lot of reasons, not only because he was decisive and he scored against Fiorentina last week, much more than that, because today it's Derby della Mole against Torino, and it's true we are playing in the same city, and it's true we don't have to travel that far, but I can guarantee you that playing in their home, they will make sure that we don't feel welcome. They will make sure that we feel like we are playing like miles away from Torino. Maximo of like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, we start. We don't win a derby with only qualities. It's not only the most qualitative team that is winning a derby. A lot of time, often, it is a team that wants more. And this is already a tip why I've chosen for Federico Gatti. We go with predicted lineups and we go with the explanation why I think that Gatti can be decided today. Predicted lineups, it's the same as last week. At the moment, Chesney to the goal. Gatti, Bremer, Danilo... Cambiaso, Macchiani, Locatelli, Rabiot, Kostic up front, Dusan Vlaovic, Federico Chiesa. The same exact lineup. We do it again. A team that wins, we don't change it. At least this is what is in the mind of Max Allegri. Now, I could have gone with Vlaovic on the pre thumbnail. I could have gone with Chiesa. It's easy. These are the ones that usually are scoring or giving us the win. I go with Gatti for a lot of reasons. He knows what it is, a derby. His family is for Torino. Probably he was also a Torino fan. But he already scored in the home game. That's the second reason. And when he scored, he went to the supporters of Juventus to take that energy that he needs. Does that mean that he can only score in our home? No, because he already did against Monza. He already did against Fiorentina away from home. So he also knows what it is to score away from home. He's taking all that fuel, that energy of that part of supporters that will be there today in Olimpico to go full power. To go full power. It's a Grinta man. It's the man that understands what it is, a derby della more. What it is to do that extra mile. To fight for every single ball. But also I love history. And Federico Gatti, after scoring in Torino in October, he waited a bit. In December he scores. On the 1st of December he scores against Monza. One week later he scores again. A winning goal. The second consecutive winning goal against Napoli. So it's a player that knows what it is. He already showed us what it is to score two consecutive games. Two decisive goals. That's a lot of reason why Gatti can be that man, why I am confident in him. Derby della Mole today is important for Europe, for both teams. When I'm telling you it's the one that wants more, I need to understand who wants more today. Is it Torino? To qualify and hope to qualify for that Conference League? Is it Juventus to qualify as fast as possible to that Champions League? To that Super Champions League, because the format will be different next season. Is it Juric that will probably play his last derby? That never won a derby, De La Mole. Is it him that wants more? Is it his players like a Zapata, like a Zanabria? Or is it Max Allegri that will probably also play his last derby, De La Mole, today? That wants to beat probably the record of Trapattoni in derby won with Juventus. Is it Locatelli that also knows what it is to play against Torino, to win against Torino, to score against Torino? I need some answers. Who wants more? Who wants more today? Because we need to qualify to Champions League as soon as possible, to make sure to go to Giuntoli in his office, knocking at the door and say, Cristiano, direttore, you can start working now. You can go with your list that you are already preparing since one year. Go on the top of the list to all the players that you want for our team. Because there will be a lot of work. I can guarantee you I will speak about the work that will need to be done this summer. But you can go to the players you want and you can tell them. It's not us that wants you. It's you that wants us. For what reason? Because we will play Serie A. We will play Coppa Italia. We will play that World Cup for clubs. We'll play that Super Champions League. We'll probably also play that uh, Super Coppa Italiana. It's you that needs us. Because we will give you exposure in front of the eyes of the world. 
And that's important, that's decisive when you are negotiating with a player, when you are trying to attract a new player in your team. Super, super, super important today. The lineups. When I'm telling you that I love history that is repeating himself, sometimes I'm also fearing when history is repeating himself. For what reason? Because if I told you that Gatti already scored twice in a row, that already scored against Torino, well, 11 men, we already did in Serie A. We did it against Lazio, not this time, but the first game where we won 3-1. 11 men, and exactly the same 11 men the week after. Against who? Against Sassuolo. We lost 4-2. Today it looks like we are playing exactly the same men as last week, 11 on 11, because I'm not counting that Coppa Italia game because there was Perin in the goal instead of Chesney. We'll play with exactly the same men. Chesney, the Gatti, Bremer, Danilo, Cambiaso, McKenny, Locatelli, Rabiot, Kostic, up front, Dusan Vlahovic, Federico Chiesa. Exactly the same. And I don't want here history repeating himself because it was a disaster game for the entire team, for Chesney, but also for Gatti. So when I'm saying that Gatti can be decisive, I want a positive, decisive game of Gatti, not the negative one. That's why, in a way, I'm not 100% sure about the win of today, because too many things can be compared. In a Torino that is never conceding, in a Torino that will play with aggressivity, a Torino that wants to win that derby, a Zapata that will go physical against Bremer. What a fight there. What a big fight. A Sanabria will try to bring his offensive qualities. Vlasic, pay attention to that player that knows how to go up. 3-4-1-2 for Torino against the 3-5-2, the usual one from Juventus. When I'm telling you that a lot can change in the summer, it's true. And that's why I hope that all the players that will leave and that already know that they will leave, they will put that extra mile today in the Derby della Mole. That's super important because we are already speaking too much about Mercato. A lot of players, they don't see themselves in Juventus in the future, according to some rumors. Well, they still need to fight. They still need to fight. Every inch they need to fight for. Every ball they need to fight for. Not thinking about the future too much. Because if you are looking at midfield, what are we hearing? That today we have a midfield made of Alcaraz, Pogba, Rabiot, McKenny, Miretti, Fagioli, Locatelli, Nonje. Alcaraz will probably go back. Pogba will not be there. Rabiot. There are a lot of discussions about Rabiot not extending. That one year extension will not be possible anymore. Extending for a lot of money will probably not be possible anymore. A McKenny. That is in discussion with Juventus, but he wants more money. What Juventus can't offer at the moment. So even McKenny could possibly leave in the summer. An Angers that is not even called... In the last two games, he was not even called up with the team. Could possibly leave with a lot of clubs that are interested. He already changed his agent, which are signs for him to leave. Who stays? Miretti, Fagioli, Locatelli. Which Fagioli that is not even here today. Locatelli, Miretti. Miretti that will not even start. So the players that will play today, they need to give that extra mile. Like a Kostic, like a Wea, like a Ealing, like an Alexandro. Four players that are also in doubt to continue next season. One of them is sure it is Alexandro. 100% sure he will not be extended. And today or yesterday he did a fantastic, beautiful interview that you need to listen. Why I am against Whistle. Because you have two things that you need to identify. The player and you have the man. And if the player... We can criticize a lot because the last season of Alexander were absolutely not at the level. Absolutely far from the level. And it's not only one season, it's already a few seasons. Well, it's a man that when he's speaking about Juventus, he's respecting Juventus. Has always respected Juventus. Has always showed love for Juventus. Showing love, respecting Juventus doesn't mean that you need to be there for 15 more years. That gives you a credit that you are untouchable. It's not enough loving Juve. But respecting Juve, when you are respecting Juve, when you are speaking that good about Juve, you enter here my heart. And you will never receive a whistle from me, from Beppe. Even if Alexander has never been my favorite player. But you will never receive a whistle from me. Never, never, never. Criticism about your performance? Yes. Whistles? No. So hopefully the last game of Alexander when he will play with Juve he will not receive whistle. That's what I hope. But that's a story for later. When I told you there is a lot of things to change, a lot of players are starting already to knock at the door of John Juntoli. It's not only Juntoli that is looking. Some players are already starting, like a Jorginho. 
that is looking to come back to Serie A. And Juventus is another possibility. Not 100% sure, but a possibility. I'm not a pro Jorginho, you know it. You already know it. I don't even see where he can place in our team. But it's true that Juventus will need to be really creative. Because when I told you that list of midfielders, Alcaraz will leave and we will cash in 0 euro. The same for Pogba, the same for Rabiot. How much can we earn from McKenney? How much can we earn from Nanjé? That's not where we will find a lot of money. So we will have to be extremely creative. Alexander is leaving for free. If Kostic is leaving, you will not cash in a lot. Same for Wea after one year. You don't cash in a lot. Qualifying to Champions League already starting today. It's super important. So Maximo of like, don't forget to subscribe. Grazie, forza. Juve.